Hey, what's going on? My name is Matt Vallier. I am the drummer for One Time Mountain, and I also do some behind the scenes sound work with this nifty little rig right here. I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to show you what we got. So, first stop on this rig is a PreSonus Fire Studio project. Uh, we are running two of these. They're Firewire, they work with PC and Mac. They have eight ins and eight outs. So, we, what we do is we run our instruments through this and then we send a mix out to the house and we also have another mix, all custom mixes that we send to each other. So we can all get our own preferred you know, levels or whatever, depending on what, what we want to hear. So that's really nifty. And then this actually has two, like I said, we're running two of these. It has multiple Firewire outs. So you know, if you need more, you have more. Uh, these are wireless transmitters. They send signal, whatever we plug into them. So we come out of this PreSonus unit into these and basically each musician has one for themselves and this is for our own in-ear mix so we can hear ourselves and this is these connect to a wireless belt pack and you just plug in any ear monitors you want it's just basically a uh, one-eighth jack you just plug it in and then you're good to go they're all various models but they all do generally the same thing the only difference is this is a fixed frequency and the ones with the screen you can actually adjust your frequencies you know, to whatever works for you. Down here, we have the Sennheiser EW300IEM G3. This is what our singer uses for his in-ear mix. And then to the left of it here, we have an EW500 G3, and this is what our singer uses for his microphone. It's a wireless microphone, so he sends a signal to this, and then we send, we output this. There's actually, I think there's two outs on the back of this. We send one to the house, and then we send one into our system via a uh, XLR cable, and then basically send his voice to our ears, and also back to his transmitter. Okay, underneath all of this, we have the trip light power strip. This basically powers everything that we need. It's got six outlets on the front and more on the back as well. And then, you know, there's nothing too fancy. You got this little thing that's kind of nice. You can protect your power switch. You don't want to lose power when you're rocking a show, you know what I'm saying? So. Underneath here, we had one of these lying around. It's basically the same deal. The only difference is there's none on the front. They're only on the back. Down here, we have the Line 6 G30. It's a wireless unit for the acoustic guitar. So we just throw the acoustic guitar on a stand, and we can just take it on stage, take it off. No wires required. We come out of this, and we go back into our interface that I showed you before. And then, again, send it out to the house and send it to ourselves, like anything else. And then next to it here, we just have more power, more outlets, just in case. You know, it's better to have more than less. And then this little thing, this little adapter here, it's got turnable outlets. Got that on Amazon, pretty cheap. And then I have these two USB ports so you can charge phones or basically you know, any, any portable device. Very handy. So when everything's all plugged in and ready to go, we take it via Firewire out of our interface and into this MacBook Pro. And we run a software called Reaper. It's shareware but it's super cheap, it's like 60 bucks. So it does everything we need and it's fully customizable in every way. So to connect our MacBook Pro to the PreSonus unit, we need one of these Firewire cables like on eBay. It's a uh, Firewire 400 pin to 800. And then what I do is because this doesn't have the proper Firewire connection, this particular MacBook, I think most of the new ones, if not all of them, don't have that. You're gonna need this little adapter. It's a it's a 800 Firewire 800 pin to a Thunderbolt. You can get that at the Apple Store, or, you know, anywhere online. Now, on top of our rack box, we have this rack case. This is a portable carry-on rack case. Basically, it all folds up into a carry-on luggage size rollable box. So it opens up, and you can fit two rack-mountable units in it. And it also has a mouse pad, so you can put anything you want on there. And then you can put your laptop up here, and it doesn't really matter the dimensions of your laptop, because these are Velcro pieces, so you can rearrange them however you want. You could put more units on here if you wanted to. Very awesome case. This is the SKB Studio Flyer. This is the 2U, which is, like I said, it's carry-on size, and they also sell the 4U, which fits four units. So this is the back of our unit. We're looking at right here, this is the PreSonus thing, our Fire Studio project. And then these are all the outputs here. We're coming out and into each of our units. So we each get our own mix out of the back of this. And there right here, if you can see that, are our two Firewire outs. 
This is where you send one to the computer and then you send another one out to another one of these units and so on. You can just stack these on top of each other and get more ins and outs. So then we get that going to us and then we have everything we want to send to the house we have coming down to these DI boxes. So basically you go in one end and then when it comes time to set up the sound guy, we labeled all of these. Sound guy plugs in his cable and he's good to go. He knows what goes where and it's very simple. I also recommend that you find some LED lights to mount to the inside of your rack case. I just found this strip of LEDs lying around, so I used some Gorilla Tape and I just stuck it to the bottom. Nine out of 10 times when you're at the venue, it's gonna be dark and you won't be able to see otherwise, especially if you're in the back of the room. So this is a must. Last, we have this seven port Insignia USB hub. It's externally powered and this goes to the laptop and what we do is we plug in two guitar pedal boards so that we can automate the, the patch changes through the computer. And then we also plug in an external MIDI mixer so that we can control each individual volume for our in-ears. All right, let's add up the costs of all this. We have the PreSonus Fire Studio Project interface. That's $300. We have the Trip Light Power Strip, $47.52. Sennheiser wireless mic, $1,000. The Sennheiser IEM system is $1,000. The Galaxy 900 is $200. The Galaxy AS 1100, $400. The SKB Studio Flyer Case 2U, this is the carry-on unit, is $166. The MacBook Pro, Depends on your preference, but the one we have ran us about two grand. The Behringer Ultra DI box, $20 each. The Line 6 Relay G30 for a wireless guitar is $200. We also use some ratchet straps, which you can find at your local hardware store for anywhere from $10 to $40. All depends on what you need and what you want to spend. We use that to hold the rig together. And then underneath it all, we have a platform dolly with wheels which ran us about $33. And everything is mounted inside of a Gator G-Tor 10U flight case. That goes for $300, adding up to a grand total of roughly $6,357. Please note that this does not include the cost of wires and cables. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and feel free to subscribe for more videos like the one you just saw.